वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्रीवासादि गौर भक्त बृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे मुखम करोति वाचाल पंगुम लंगाय दे गिरी यत्पा तम हम वंदे श्री गुरु दीन तारण परमानंद माधव श्री चैतन्य मीश्वर हरे कृष्ण we begin with narsingha kavach narsingham kavacham bakshe phala dino ditam pura sarva rakshakaram punyam sarva sarva pravada nashanam sarva satam tadkam chaiva swarga moksha chadayakam jyatva atpana shimha deva shesham kemana shimha sarvasthitam trinayana sharadindu samaprabha prabhakshmyanam yalingam bhuti bheru pashtitam chaturbhujam komalam karna varna kundala shobitam saroja shobitu rakshanam स्मृत मे पात नर हरि मुनि मुखम लक्ष्मी मुख प्रिया सर्व विद्या वक्रम पात्विंदु वदनम सदा प्रहलाद वंदिता नरसिंह पात कंठम स्कंदो भूभृद अनंत दिव्य स्त्र शोभिता भूजा नरसिंह पात मे कुचो करो मे देव वरदो नरसिंह पात सर्व हृदय योगी सद्य निवस पात मे हरि मध्यम मंत्रोभवानूदी जंगे पातुधर भरा हरत यो सौ नरकेशरी शूर राज्य प्रद पातु पादो मे नरीश्वर सहस्र शीर्षा पुरुष पातु मे सर्वशस्तन मनोग्रह पूर्वत पातु महावीराग्रजोग्रित महाविष्णु दक्षिणे तो महाज्वलस्तु न पश्चिमे पातु सर्वेशो दिशि मे सर्व तो मुख नरसिंह पात वायव्यम सौम्यम भूषण विग्रह ईशान्य पात भद्रो मे सर्व मंगलदायक संसार भयत पात मृत्युर्मृत्यु नरकेशरी इदम नरसिंह कवच प्रहलाद मुखमंडित भक्ति मठे नैत्यम सर्व पाप प्रमुच ंदंडक्ष दिव्यासंभूता विषपाहरण परम ब्रह्म रक्षस यक्षा दुरोत्सरण कारण भुजे वा तल पात्रे वा कवचम लिखित शुभ 
ಮಂತ್ರಿಯ ಪ್ರಸಾಯೋ ಭೇತ್ ಮನಸ ಚಿಂತಿ ಸಂಶಯ ಪೂರ್ಣೇ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾಂಪೂರ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ I shall now recite the Narsimha Kavach formally spoken by Prahlad Maharaj. It is most pious, vanquishes all kinds of impediments and provides one all protection. I can read the second. It bestows. Oops, oh, sorry, Madhuri. Go ahead, Madhuri. It bestows upon one all opulences and can give one elevation to the heavenly planets or liberation. One should meditate on Lord Narsimha, Lord of the universe, seated upon a golden throne. Hare Krishna. his mouth is wide open he has three eyes and is as radiant as the autumn moon he is embraced by lakshmi devi on his left side and his form is the shelter of all opulences both material and spiritual the lord, the lord is hari hari sorry up please continue any up up kar pehle main next karungi the lord has four arms and his limbs are very soft He is decorated with golden earrings. His chest is resplendent like the lotus flower, and his arms are decorated with jewel-studded ornaments. Kiran, aunty. Anybody? I can read. I can read Prabhu ji. He is dressed in a spotless yellow garment which exactly resembles molten gold. He is the original cause of existence beyond the mundane sphere for the great demigods headed by Indra. He appears bedecked with rubies which are blazingly effulgent. Hare Krishna. Okay. Now his two feet are very attractive and he is armed with various weapons such as the conch disc etc garuda joyfully offers prayers with great reverence hare krishna i can be having seated lord narsimha dev upon the lotus of one's heart one should recite the following mantra may lord narsimha who protects all the planetary systems protect my head om The Lord is all pervading he hid himself within a pillar may he protect my speech and the results of my activities may Lord, whose eyes are the sun and fire protect my eyes hari krishna may lord narhari who is pleased by the prayers offered by the best of sages protect my memory may he who has 
the nose of a lion protect my nose and may he whose face is very dear to the goddess of fortune protect my mouth hari krishna i can read the next one hey lord narsimha who is protect my senses of taste may he whose face is beautiful as full moon and who is offer and who is offered prayers by prahlad maharaj protect my face I can read next one. Go ahead, Matthew. May Lord that Simha protect my throat. He is the sustainer of the earth and the performer of unlimitedly wonderful activities. May he protect my shoulder. His arms are resplendent with transcendental weapons. May he protect my shoulders. Hare Krishna. May the Lord who bestows benedictions. कोई पढ़ रहा था माताजी पढ़िए अब. Please, please. Please go ahead, May the Lord who bestows benedictions upon the demigods protect my hands, and may He protect me from all sides. May He who is achieved by the perfect yogis protect my heart, and may Lord Hari protect my dwelling place. Lord Narsing Dev Ki. May he who ripped apart the chest and abdomen of the great demon Hirana Kashyapu, Hirana Kashya, protect my waist, and may Lord Narhari protect my navel. He is offered prayers by Lord Brahma, who has sprung from his own navel. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Nobody want to read. May he on whose hips rest all the universes protect my hips. May the Lord protect my private parts. He is the knower of all mantras and all mysteries, but he himself is not visible. I can read. May he is the original Cupid protect my thighs. May he who exhibits a human-like form protect my knees. May the remover of the burden of the earth, who appears in a form which is half man and half lion, protect my calves. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I can read next. <clears throat> May the bestower of heavenly opulence protect my feet. He is the supreme controller, in the form of a man and lion combined. May the thousand-headed supreme enjoyer. Protect my body from all sides and in all respects. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I'll read this. May that most ferocious personally protect me from the east. May he who is superior to the greatest heroes protect me from the southeast, which is presided over by Agni. May the supreme Vishnu protect me from the south, and may that person. Of blazing luster, protect me from the southwest. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I'm reading. May the Lord of everything protect me from the west. His faces are everywhere. So please, may He protect me from this direction. May Lord Narsimha. Protect me from the northwest, which is predominated by Vayu, and may he, whose form is in itself the supreme ornament, protect me from the north, where Soma resides. Hari Krishna, I can read this one. May the all auspicious Lord, who Himself bestows all auspiciousness, protect from the northeast the direction of the sun god, and may. He who is death personified protect me from fear of death and rotation in this material world. Hare Krishna. This Narsimha Kavach has been ornamented by issuing from the mouth of Prahlad Maharaj. A devotee who reads this becomes free from all sins. Hare Krishna. Whatever one desires in this world, he can attain without doubt. One can have wealth, many sons, and a long life. Hare Krishna. 
he becomes victorious who desires victory and indeed becomes a conqueror he wards off the influence of all planets earthly heavenly and everything in between this is the supreme remedy of the poisonous effect of the serpents and scorpions and the brahma raksha ghost and its has the driven by driven away one may write this most auspicious prayer on his arm or inscribe it on a palm leaf and attach it to his wrist and all his activities will become perfect hari krishna krishna lovely mm. one who regularly chants this prayer whether once or thrice daily he becomes victorious whether among demigods demons or human beings hari krishna okay alri one who regularly chants this prayer whether one once or thrice daily he become victorious whether among demigods demons or human beings one who has start recites this prayer 32000 times attains the most auspicious of all auspicious things and material enjoyment and liberation are already understood to be available to such a person Okay, Navya is reading this. One. This Kavach mantra is the king of all mantras. One attains by it would be attained by anointing oneself with ashes and chanting all other mantras. Hare Krishna, Anshul Reed. Having. having marked one's body's tilak with tilak taking achman achman with water and yes. reciting his this mantra three times one find yeah. will find that the fear of all in auspicious in auspicious pla planets is removed that person who recites this mantra meditating upon lord nursing adev has all of his disease vanquished including those of the abdomen why should more why should more be said one acquires qualitative qualitative oneness with narsimha himself there is no doubt that the desires in the mind of one who meditates will be granted aritas lord narsimha roars loudly and causes others to roar with his multitudes of arms his tears he tears the demons as under and kills them in this way he is always seeking out and tormenting the demoniac descendants of diti both on this earth planet and in the higher planets and he throws them down and scatters them he cries with great anger as he destroys the demons in all directions yet with his unlimited hands he sustains protects and nourishes the cosmic manifestation i offer my respectful obeisances to the lord who has assumed the form of a transcendental lion thus ends the narsimha kavach as it is described by prahlad maharaj in brahmanda purana purana brahmand purana hari krishna
प्रभु जी ये सबसे लास्ट वाला जो भी आपने पढ़ा है इसमें द डेमोनियक एंड डिसेंडेंट्स ऑफ दिति हु वाज दिति प्रभु जी हिरणाकश हिरणाकश्यप यस मदर ऑफ ऑल द डीम ऑल द डीम अदिति इज मदर ऑफ ऑल द गॉड्स इन दैट इन गॉड्स ओके ओके एंड दिति ओके हरे कृष्ण देवर सिस्टर्स Okay, thank you. Okay, so we'll start again uh, with the Bhagavatam reading. I'll pull up the shlokas. Hare Krishna. I think we had read this one also yesterday. So is it? So I think we yes, have to. Yes, we have to do twenty fifth today. Okay, Hare Krishna. Someone like to start and read. Should I start? Can I read? We we'll just do the prayers, Mang, uh, for Bhagavatam. ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय भद्रेशु नित्यम भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम भक्ति नैष्टिकी कृष्णा वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय च नंदगोपाकुमारायोविंदोद्विज चक्रस्मुंजे तदपास्तकिवृत्त विशुद्धचेत तद्रमुचि प्रजाते ट्रांसलेशन वंस बाय देर परमिशन आई टुक द रेमनेंट्स ऑफ देर फूड एंड बाय सो डूइंग ऑल माय सिंस वर इट वाज इरेडिकेटेड thus being engaged i became purified at in heart and at that time the very nature of the transcendentalis became attractive to me purport 
pure devotion is much infectious in a good sense as infectious diseases. A pure devotee is cleared from all kinds of sins. The personality of Godhead is the purest entity and unless one is equally pure from the infection of material qualities, one cannot become a pure devotee of the Lord. The Bhakti Vedantas, as above mentioned, were pure devotees and the boy became infected with the qualities of purity by their association and by eating once the remnants of the foodstuffs taken by them. Such remnants may be taken even without permission of the pure devotees. There are sometimes pseudo devotees and one should be very much cautious about them. There are many things which hinder one from entering devotional service, but by the association of pure devotees, all these obstacles are removed. The neophyte devotee becomes practically enriched with the transcendental qualities of the pure devotees, which means attraction for the personality of Godhead's name, fame, qualities, pastimes, etc. Infection of the qualities of the pure devotee means to imbibe the taste of pure devotion always in the transcendental activities of the personality of Godhead. This transcendental taste is at once is uh, this taste at once makes all material things distasteful. Therefore, a pure devotee is not at all attracted by material activities. After the elimination of all sins or obstacles on the path of devotional service, one can become attracted, one can have steadiness, one can have perfect taste, one can have transcendental emotions and at last one can be situated on the plane of loving service of the Lord. All these stages developed by the association of pure devotees and that is the purport of this stanza. Hare Krishna. Uh, here Narad Muni is telling Vyasde how he got inducted into transcendental service of the Lord and how he became a devotee of the Lord. First he tells about when he was a small boy and he was serving the rishis during the Chaturmas period. In the last slope he tells about that that due to their association and being under their service, uh, they took pity on him and uh, they told him about the uh, devotional service. Here he tells that devotion is like a infection. If one is in association with devotees, one is very prone to get infected. So association is very important. Also, taking prasadam is very important. And if he, one takes the jutan or the remnants of the foods taken by the pure devotees, one develops attachment for the Lord and uh, can have spiritual tendencies and uh, will be uh, into devotional service and uh, get more and more advanced. So once when he had taken that, uh, the remnants of their food, uh, he developed taste for pure devotion and thus he became uh, a Lord's devotee. <clears throat> And uh, when one becomes a lot devotees, one becomes free from all material attachments. And anybody who is still having material attachments cannot go into pure devotion. 
one will not have steadiness into devotion if one has material attachments. Hare Krishna. Uh, one thing that kind of stands out here also is, um, uh, you know, when it says that such remnants may be taken even without permission of the pure devotees. So, you know, rest of the time, uh, Prabhupada is, you know, explaining about this. And, and here it is mentioned that it is such remnants may be taken even without permission of the pure devotees. And this reminds me of the time when in a flight, Prabhupada was going and, and you know, the, I think uh, we have discussed this past time, but um, of Prabhupada, but basically they, he had some, just some puffed rice that he was carrying with him and the flight attendant just for some reason, just got some desire and she took, she took it from Prabhupada. She just almost snatched it and, <laughs> and took it and ate, ate it and said, wow, this is really good. And this kind of behavior you don't expect from a flight attendant. They have so much training and everything. And this was just very un, uh, you know, su surprising, very surprising behavior from uh, from that attendant. But there was something that made her do that. Well, um, you know, Prabhupada didn't say anything. He uh, he's, he was you know it was prashadam and they, he was happy in sharing, but. Um, you know, other devotees were one no, person able to get this, you know, because not uh, a lot of people even, you know, wanted to have Prabhupada's remnants and would not be able to get it for some reason or the other. And here this completely, you know, a person who's not in Krishna consciousness or anything suddenly just got Prabhupada's remnants and they were like, wow, uh, they were like, you know, a little surprised at her actions. Um, but you know that's how you know the association of pure devotee and their remnants can be uh, taken like that and uh, you know it's not like we should try we shouldn't try to imitate but um, but this just reminded me of that and that flight attendant later on became a very good very nice devotee actually just by that one um, kind of association with Prabhupada that's what reminded me, uh, you know, when I was uh, reading through this line. Anybody else would like to share anything from here? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Can I can I share, Prabhu? Am I audible? Yes, Prabhu. So <clears throat> this is very interesting. How Prabhupada writes. You know, uh, he writes, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to read this word to word. The Bhakti Vedantas, as above mentioned, were pure devotees and the boy became infected with their qualities of purity <laughs> by their association and by eating once the remnants of the foodstuffs taken by them. So, <clears throat> Uh, this is <clears throat> transcendental infection. This is the kind of infection which we are looking for. Currently, people are uh, running away from the infection, right? So many people, mask and everything, so many people getting infected. But this is transcendental infection of purity, which is get, which one is getting. And actually, this is... <clears throat> uh, exemplified by one of the devotees in the past times of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Can anybody remember which devotee in Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu <clears throat> was famous and glorified for this? I don't think we have discussed this before, but you know, devotees who have read or listened to lectures and stuff will know. Can you repeat the question? Yeah, who exemplified this uh, uh, this uh, Bhakta Bhukta Avishesh uh, uh, taking remnants by the devotees? So this devotee is famous because he used to go around and take remnants from everyone.
anybody has anybody heard of kalidas who is an associate of lord chaitanya not the not the uh, other kalidas who did lot of literary work but this is lord chaitanya's associate okay oh, prabhu ji i have never heard sorry <laughs> so uh, example comes of kalida so first of all let's discuss a little bit about this taking remnants from the plate of the devotees so <clears throat> prabhupada is saying that if you take the remnants from the plate of the devotee then you are infected by the qualities of purity so purity where is the purity coming from it's coming from the devotee who is taking the <clears throat> uh or who is honoring the prasadam and similarly if somebody eats from the plate of let's say non devotee that is non devotee by non devotee i mean <clears throat> somebody who is you know uh, having atheistic mentality or not <clears throat> favorable then what happens is is uh, one imbibes those qualities so therefore one has to be careful about the etiquette and in practical uh, life this is very nicely <clears throat> exemplified by kalidas so kalidas he was so much focused on the good qualities of the other people that all the devotees he would consider very very advanced and he genuinely from his heart was considering all the devotees he were coming across considering very very advanced and he would long and love to take the remnants and to what extent he will deliver a, a you know whole uh basket of bananas and he will give as a gift to a devotee and the devotees will eat and what will they do they will throw the banana <coughs> sorry not banana what am i saying mangoes mangoes basket so they'll take the mass uh, mango and then they'll throw the peel and the <coughs> seed outside and what he will do kalida he was really really uh, <clears throat> very advanced so what he could he did he will go and pick it up thoda acha ye hari krishna somebody is not on mute <clears throat> so he will go he will go in the middle of the night when nobody is watching and he will go and pick it up that very from the ground or wherever and he will with a very very humble and prayerful heart thanking to krishna with gratitude he will take those leftovers what is left over nothing is left over but he is tasting whatever is the left behind thing from a devotee and he would do it for the most advanced devotee and he would do it for the neophyte devotee why because he is seeing every everybody as very very advanced and because he had that mentality he was given special mercy from lord chaitanya mahaprabhu so lord chaitanya mahaprabhu <clears throat> he used to <clears throat> wash his feet and he will not let anybody take that water but <clears throat> kalidas when he went and he approached lord chaitanya allowed him permitted him because he was very pleased by how he is um <clears throat> seeing the great qualities and good qualities in all the devotees and accepting generally that's why you see in in <clears throat> vedic culture people are little careful about uh, about uh, <clears throat> the eating habits um, general proper etiquette is we should eat from the right hand only left hand should not be used and when we are eating if we have to do any serving or anything we wash our hands we we don't like eat and then 
again use the same hand to take seconds no we have to wash our hands and generally best is wash our hands on mouth rinse nicely then you go wash your feet then you go uh, but uh, otherwise some other devotee can help serve uh, the person so this is how you know the proper etiquette is so one is very careful not to contaminate the offerings or to the devotees the prasadam offering to the devotees by touching from one's hand which is kind of jutha in one hand. <clears throat> muchi muchi also they say right and uh, in um in the consciousness the idea is we should not give our remnants to anybody so all our plates should be clean after food it's not that we are leaving behind remnants that is not good and when we are um getting a chance to accept the remnants of the devotees and then we can take it so this is how the consciousness should be and um uh it's very very important to understand that vedic culture actually is very scientific like if you touch a feet of somebody the person whose feet you are touching actually gets a little bit of karma from you i don't know how many of you know that but that is the reason you know uh, uh, sometimes some people will not allow you to touch their feet also so anyways the point is that uh, um we are first we are right now we have no conception first we are understanding what is the vedic conception and etiquette in general and then we are understanding how these devotees like kalidas and others have transcended that conception and actually gone to a totally uh, transcendental realm where they have got so much mercy of the lord so just want to share few thoughts on this prabhu ji one question you just said about touching the feet so who gets the karma of us like the one who is touching the feet the one who is touching the feet gets the benefit the one whose feet is being touched that person gets the karma oh, okay. okay so like your son comes and touches your feet so then you are taking the karma of your son it could be good or bad either right and usually people generally kanjuka means bad only you know okay, <laughs> okay. thanks good so karma much. doesn't yeah so so it mainly the negative karma which gets in okay so once upon a time shila prabhupad gave a pandal program and shila prabhupad was coming out and then uh one of the um new boys uh, uh who's now his holiness radhanath swami <coughs> maharaj he was a new boy he just his first meeting practically uh <clears throat> so prabhupad had given this pandal program and out of 10000 people prabhupad pointed out towards this boy who was in the end and asked one of his disciples bring him so this disciple gurudas prabhu went he hold this boy held this boy and brought him to shrila prabhupad and prabhupad indicated him to sit at his feet and then when the program was over prabhupad was about to <coughs> step out leave and then this young boy he was going to touch shrila prabhupad's feet and as he was going forward one of the other disciples of prabhupad he chastised this boy he said hey you you cannot touch swami ji's feet uh, nahi nahi uh, uh, sorry uh, he said nobody is allowed to touch swami ji's feet and then shila prabhupad looked at his disciple and he said but this boy can touch so then <clears throat> he touched the feet of uh prabhupad and he 
um, in future he became his holiness radhanath maharaj so we can see how <clears throat> these you know uh, mercy and blessings of devotees are so powerful devotees can continue so prabhu ji we should not allow anyone to touch our feet okay that's a good question so we should be humble enough to understand that we are not spiritually so advanced that we can take everybody's karma so we should be very humble and uh, from a social etiquette standpoint sometimes the parents can allow their children to touch but in general it is safest and better that we understand we are not in a position to handle so much karma of so many people and uh, uh, stay humble and similarly for food also remnants of food we should <clears throat> try that our food should not be taken by others we should not think oh are mai to bahut bada i am you know such a great devotee other person will eat he will get some benefit <laughs> by eating my remnants this, this we should not feel so we should be very careful that our this thing should not does it make sense yeah because sometime you know in our is come some of those younger people want to come to me and they bow and stuff like that and i tell them no but they still do it to this younger girl so so bowing down bowing no. down is okay in fact every uh, devotee bows down uh, to every other no, devotee no but they kind of touch towards a while i mean i remember a couple of the ladies they touch the feet and i keep on telling them no please don't do that so that's yeah that's okay so that's so okay so i should really form right i mean we don't have to fight we have to see that etiquette uh, we have to see the sentiment of the devotees and just you know politely tell them no it's not necessary please okay. and uh, obeisances is is good we should pay obeisances to all the devotees and vice versa and when we are paying obeisance of course we are paying to the devotee but also we are paying to the parmatma within the heart of the devotee so <clears throat> parmatma is there and we are actually <clears throat> ultimately paying with respect to the lord thank you for your sharing such nice points and uh, past times um any other devotees would like to share or uh, we can go uh, go to the next one can go to the next one trinity would you like to read mata ji okay prabhu ji i can try <clears throat> त्रावत्रान्वहम् कृष्ण कथा प्रयागत प्रगायतम् तत्तान्वहम् कृष्ण कथा प्रगायता अनुग्रहेणाशनवम् मनोहरा अनुग्रहेणाशनवम् मनोहरा ृष्णवतःवस्यांगमृच translation o vyas deva in the association and by the mercy of those great vedantes i could hear them describe the attractive activities of lord krishna 
and thus listening attentively my taste for hearing of the personality of godhead increased at every step purport uh, lord shri krishna the absolute personality of godhead is attractive not only in his personal features but also in his transcendental activities it is so because the absolute is absolute by his name fame form past time and shroj paraphernalia etc the lord descends to this material world out of his causeless mercy and displays his various transcendentalist uh, transcendental past time as a human being so that human beings attracted toward him towards him become become able to go back to godhead men are naturally apt to hear histories and narrations of various personalities performing mundane activities without knowing that by such association one simply wastes valuable time and also becomes addicted to the three qualities of mundane nature prabhu ji what are these three qualities Krishna. Mataji, this may be just the three modes. Three modes of material nature, huh, Mataji? I think okay. that's what I also thought, Mataji. But I don't know. I was unsure. I thought I should have. Okay, continue. Instead of wasting time, one can get spiritual success by turning his attention to the transcendental pastime of the Lord. by hearing the narration of the pastime of the lord one contacts directly the personality of godhead and as explained before by hearing about the personality of godhead from within all accumulated sins of the mundane creature are clear thus being cleared of all the all sins the hearer gradually becomes liberated from mundane association and becomes attracted to the features of the lord narad muni has just explained this by his personal experience the whole idea is that simply by hearing about the lord's past time one can become one of the associates of the lord narad muni has eternal life unlimited knowledge and unfathomed bliss as he can travel all over the material and spiritual worlds without restriction one can attain to the highest perfection of life simply by attentive hearing of the transcendental pastime of the lord from the right sources as shri narada heard this heard them from the pure devotees bhakti vedantas in his previous life this process of hearing in the association of the devotees is especially recomm recommended in this age of quarrel kali hari krishna hari krishna thank you mataji for reading would you also like to summarize prabhuji here it reminds me of navvidha bhakti and the first step is shravanam so as we see is narad muni uh, you know sharing here that how important the uh, to hear about the lord and more important is to hear that attentively so uh, we get attracted toward anybody even in this material world when we first we get to hear about something and then we want to know more so the same way if if we try to do i mean in if we do that in material world we also get attracted by hearing and then you know trying to know more we actually end up wasting our time but if we try to do that and hear attentively more from the right sources about the lord uh, uh shri krishna from the pure devotees of the lord and and that's how we can Uh, be more attracted toward krishna and this will lead us to the devotional pure devotional service to the lord so hearing um, the process of hearing in the association of devotees is especially recommended in the age of quarrel this kali we see uh, how parikshit maharaj in the last 7 days of his life 
actually liberated himself only by attentively uh, hearing about uh, Srimad Bhagavatam from the right source, Srila Sukhadev Goswami. So hearing is the first step to uh, continue the journey of devotional service or uh, getting attracted toward anybody or, uh, you know, we see that hearing is the first step. So if we do that attentively and we hear uh, from the devotees or the right sources, that's how we get attracted and we get we can also be liberated. That is the only source here. Hare Krishna Guruji, please add and correct if I said anything wrong. Thank you, Mataji. Very nicely summarized. Um, I don't have much to add to this. So is this the last one or you want to do one more or let's see this it's a short one or it is a short one would you like to do one more or or uh, close for today actually actually we can do this tomorrow because if we do it and read it then probably then tomorrow uh, we cannot we will not be able to discuss it today and then we have to read it again tomorrow. So if we do it tomorrow, that way we can discuss it as well. Yeah, Mati, okay. Rest everybody, however, what everybody says. Okay. Hare Krishna. That's right, Mati. It's, uh, it's time also. So uh, we'll finish it for today. Thank you very much for all the devotees for joining. One chakal tarubhya scha kripa sandhubhya eva chakal tarubhya eva chakal tarubhya eva chakal tarubhya eva chakal tarubhya eva chakal Right. Right.